what's up everybody this is going to be a super super quick video on how I traded spy this morning um, but I want to give you a hack on how you can uh, have a heads up on which way the stock you're trading may go before the market opens so you can already be in position to get the cheapest contracts at open so um, if you have not seen my video on this indicator, it's called the Options Millionaire Spy Moving Averages by Cole Justice. So you want to plot that on your um, on trading view. And so you see here pre-market. This is without using levels this is without using my fibs this is just with using this indicator and then with the doshian trend so pre-market you see we are above the 8 and the 21 this here is the 8 and the 21 so i guess i'll go through this really quick so you have a whole bunch of moving averages but you can pick the ones that you want to use so i only have the 8 and the 21 however i un check this line because I don't feel like I need to have all those lines on my chart but if you want to keep the line that's up to you or you have other bonus um, EMAs you can put the 100 on here you can put the 50 on here the 34 whatever you like and then it has the VWAP so that's that and you can play with that if you want to uh, but by now most of you if you're watching my videos you should already know about this indicator anyway pre-market it was above the 8 and the 21 it was above the VWAP price was sitting on VWAP so once the market opened it was already charged so when a stock is already charged it's already above VWAP it's already above the 8 and the 20 you can pretty much enter at pre I mean enter when the market opens right along with the smart money because right here they're loading up in the morning you see all this volume they're loading up on cheap contracts and then even if you miss that ride when it pulls back to the and then some people don't like to trade the opening that's fine so if you don't like to trade the open it's always going to be a pullback so once it pulled back and then the VWAP and the 8 and the 21 crashed right here that was another entry so I entered at the open from here 21 to uh, 73 bucks and that was like 247% um, percent. and I was done for the day uh, but I could have re-entered at 21 cents again and then it ran to like $1.45 cents, and that was a 590% return but with the market so wishy-washy I'm just um, I guess more disciplined not to overtrade um but i guess maybe the market's kind of settling and getting back to the way it used to be i don't know but i didn't take that chance i walked away from the computer and um so if you had 200 books to throw into the market this morning let's see if you had 200 bucks to throw into that one play this morning into qqq you could have bought let's see the contracts were 21 cents You could have bought 10 contracts. And so at 10 contracts, and then they were 200 and I think I already did. I, I don't think I loaded it yet. Mm. So if you had 200 books to throw into that play today, and it went. To 247%. Well, that ain't right. 247%. <laughs> so, you could have had almost a $500 day. What did I just click? I want the percent sign, baby. There we go. <laughs> so you would have had a $494 a day minus all the fees of course if you're on thinkorswim but if you're on webull or robinhood you wouldn't have had those fees 
Um, so that's just one scenario I wanted to show you on the um, how you can multiply your account when the market is is charged and when the market is even if it's a red day if everything is below the VWAP below the in the 20 you can do the same scenario getting that open and get you a quick um, return off 10 contracts and be done working in 45 minutes and be about your day so that is all for this video if you would like this spreadsheet I have it posted on my um, website and I'll leave the link below I guess I may remember to leave the link below but that is all for today on this video I don't think there was anything else important that I needed to share other than exiting that's another thing so when I first started trading my mentor taught me see green take green so I have that habit of seeing green and taking green so if I have a had a held even though I know I'm, I know about pullbacks now if even if I have a hail through the pullback and through the end of the day I think these contracts went to like a dollar and fifty some cents well dollar forty five cents so I could have had way more money if I had a stuck to the new plan that I teach my mentees is to exit on the 21 break so right here would have been my exit when the price broke the 21 EMA so you can ride the 21 all day long in any stock if it's above the 8 and the 21 you can ride it scale out if you want to if you feel more comfortable but as long as it does not break the 21 you can stay in the trade and get your max profit. So that was another important thing that I wanted to ex express that my mentor taught me so wrong. And I'm so trying to relearn not to see green and take green, but to follow my entry plan and follow my exit plan and make the most money that I can get out the market every day. So that's it, guys. Have a great night. Goodbye.